My name is Ian Watson. I am um, from Cape Town, South Africa. My mother was a gospel singer. My father played in a rock band for 20 years, and that's how they met. And um, grandmother was an opera singer. Grandfather was a violinist, and um, his father was a violinist. My sister's a flautist. So I think, in terms of my family, it was very likely that I'd become a musician. So I studied in Glasgow. Um, further, to my, my, I finished my master's in Glasgow um, at the RSMD. Then I uh, worked with the Scottish orchestras, did some trials uh, within Ireland and Scotland mainly, um, especially with the RSNO. And, um, and then I uh, did a trial with the Northern Symphonia, now the Royal Northern Symphonia. And uh, I was worked there for two years. Um, and then um, I decided I, I preferred to, to live in a place that was a bit bigger, with more people, a bit more buzzing. Um, and um, I really enjoyed the, um, the Halle Orchestra sound, um, especially from the bass section I found of the strings. There was something very special about the sound and, and the heritage and the, the tr tradition of, of, of playing. Um, being within recent the oldest orchestra in Britain, I also felt that was something I'd love to get, be a part of. I think I love the fact that um, the orchestra does so much um, of the really big music, the, the Mahler, the Wagner's, um, the Bruckner symphonies, and um, in complete form, a lot of recordings as well. Um, and to be part of that is very special. I think I came from being coming from Northern Symphonia, which was fantastic in its own way for doing more chamber orchestra repertoire of Mozart, Beethoven, and Haydn. This was the much bigger scale, um, monumental repertoire, which I was very interested in doing as well. I think, so. I've always loved chamber music, um, and um, when I was when I was in high school, I started getting very, very involved in chamber music as well. And um, when I arrived in in Glasgow, particularly, I, I formed a duo with a guitarist, and we took that really far. And we 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 did this very new music for guitar and violin, um, as well as some standard repertoire as well. And, and certainly in the Nonsophonia, I was doing a lot of quartet playing um, and sextet playing. The weather um, um, is, is something I miss about South Africa. The, um, the people as well, um, although I love the English people, I find England very diverse and South Africa is now becoming more and more diverse as well, especially within sort of Cape Town regions. And um, I, I think I miss the people um, the most, and family of course, and they were all over there as well. So I don't have family in this side of the world. Quartets like the, the Hagen Quartet, um, uh, Nash Ensemble, um, uh, violinists such as David Oistrach has been a, a really big influence on, on the way I think about playing or, the, you know, I've learned a lot from, from his way of playing and when he stands and plays with such strength, um, that's something I try to aspire to. It's, it's a wonderful violinist. So. Um, being aware that what the audition is in itself, whether you know if, if they are if they far off doing their first audition, um, to be prepared to, to look at, at, at orchestral excerpts, to when they're going to college to study, to not waste too much time on their violin concertos or their or, or, or this and that, but rather spend a fair at least spend a bit of time concerning oneself with how to play a Mozart symphony, a first violin part or second violin part in a really, really careful way and with, with taste and, um, and then going on to all the different composers etc. So by the time you do your first audition it may be um, unsuccessful um, uh, but, but you would have a much better starting, starting block from being really prepared for your first audition and looking at the music beforehand properly with, with the score with, 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 and listening, listening to the music.